play this on Pokemon Stadium. Here. One, go! <laughs> Yo, nice. Uh, the immediate call out with the side B, just kind of setting the pace of the game. And uh, just like that, oh, whoops, 60%, three hits. That's uh, that's the Bowser gameplay. But a nice answer back, and a one grab from Sephiroth means can take some nasty damage. Interesting, Takari. I mean, good on uh, Brozak to roll out of that. Won't be uh, clapped this time, but they're basically a kill percent, many of those. And a nice coverage of the get-up option. Uh, Hydro's gonna have to figure out their wake-up options and figure out their timing. Not be aware of that. And just the, the raw F mask puts them in stock up. Nasty stuff. Sephiroth really light. I think they're like top 10 lightest in the game, or maybe like top 5. Yeah, you gotta like think of uh, Sephiroth as Olimar, which is really funny to me. Okay, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty light. Yeah. Ooh, another uh, nice side B. I would have, maybe you could have gone for the suicide there. Oh, that's very um, uh, good to, to cover high there. Bowser's fair covers like everything. Yeah, it's massive, and it hits the ground. It's like, like kind of hits behind you too, which is insane. But looks like Brozak starting to space out a little bit more safely yeah, that's, now. Yeah, that's what you got to do. You, if you touch Bowser's shield unsafely, you're either gonna get up smash, you're gonna get grabbed, you're gonna get up beat. So you, you just can't do it. it. It's a character you have to play safe against. You give and, them an inch, they'll take them. Yeah, and sometimes it takes players like a stock. Uh, sometimes two to like really start getting used to this, the safe spacing uh, when it comes to such a volatile matchup like this. But... Yeah, Prozac, Prozac seems to be doing, uh, doing it well here. Yeah, absolutely. Almost calls out the air dodge read there with the up smash, but pulls the trigger just a little bit too early. Nice mix up here. Wait, uh, Sephiroth has wing, so they've got a third jump off stage that Hydra's gonna have to work with. Yep. Fire Breath and Neutral, pretty good. I wonder if, uh, how oh, wow. the yeah, I wonder how the Scintilla counter is going to interact with the Flame Breath. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, I wonder if it'll come out, but so far, yeah, Bro's like starting to uh, really ma make his way back on and the second stock. Yeah, player. there it is. Hydro getting a little too, uh, I think, a little too greedy with the up beams. Yeah, um, I think that ultimately, too, I I'm surprised to not see the Shadow Player. Wow! Now. Jeez, okay, just the you, game ending. <laughs> it doesn't matter when you can just end the game with an upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> so really, yeah, what I'm looking for for Bro's like is like more like Shadow Flow spam and like just t like just poking, right? Yeah. Because um, most part, I mean, we've seen that Hydro can blow him up um, just as quickly as that. Yeah, right? They gotta play extremely safe. Yeah, he's willing to go for the hard callouts like that. So uh, a good win, but that's uh, that was what I'm that's what I'm talking about. That was a pretty nice set. There was some explosive stuff. Yeah, and I mean, Brozak working from behind early on in that game, too. We, we definitely saw yeah. him warming up uh, and even just waking up in general to the matchup in particular. But Things are coming together. It's a good match. It's a good matchup. Yeah, I'm excited to see both of these players as they go through the brackets. I think it's actually their first waking cakes. Really? Uh, a piece. Yeah, so that is awesome. To see. <laughs> kind of poetic to have both of them on stream first, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's good. So going to FD, uh, I think that uh, it's kind of like no um, platform, so the Bowser side B not going to get that little bit of boost. Yeah, I'm surprised that out. Hydro didn't have this ban, to be honest. Uh, just because it's going to be insanely hard for Hydro to get out of disadvantage uh, with uh, uh, Sephiroth's range and frame trapping. But... One Shadow Flare, but the upbeat, the right choice to get out of the trap system. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how Sephiroth's at 56 right now. <laughs> I just looked, I was like, whoa, it's surprising <laughs> to me. Yeah, oh, the, the little bit of extra ground spam that the down air does. Yeah, that definitely is a matchup check when it comes to the little star or whatever the hit is. But, all right, corner pressure. Both players kind of just choosing to roll in there. Oh, did that go through? I yeah. Think the hitbox came out on the other side of the Cintilla. Yeah, I do know that you can break through Sephiroth's counter, but at the that same time, I think it, it might have just been he just snuck past the... Yeah. Otherwise, the wall, Hydro yeah. was demolished. I'm actually just realizing that there seems to be like kind of like a 3D render of the uh, scintilla counter. It's it like, see, I don't know, maybe next time you, you see it, like look, and I think there's like a slight angle to it. There it, is. It looks yeah. really cool, yeah. I just noticed that for the first time. But... That, uh, the, okay, the stock went away. You don't really know how. Hydro chooses to trade with the Shadow Flare, get those two on there. They got a little bit of damage for it, but. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, that yeah. is nasty. And shield, full shielding that means punish, back yeah. air. That and back now, air, back air is going to be this true. dangerous. So you long. cannot roll through that. Oh, so much damage. And yeah, connects it into the up smash too. If they if they have the full charge neutral B, you got to drop off the ledge. you, you just got to say, I'm going for the re-grab. Yeah, or just like double jump immediately. But then they can call that out too by canceling it. Yeah, you you, you never want to let them have that. And three shadow flares. This is a stock if throw that laser correctly. 
Absolutely. The up oh, the, those are the correct choice. Again, getting a little bit of damage, putting Sephiroth and hit on, preventing them. Oh, okay, nice character competency from this Hydro there. And oh, another one there, Bowser Porter. Okay, well, yeah. one stock. Update, especially on a light character like Sephiroth. Come and beat me. Nice, nice. A little confidence there, just running straight into him. Yeah, bro's like starting to get comfortable with the counter, but Hydro's starting to be more aware of it here. But... Nah, I ain't getting hit again with the down air, unfortunately. And what was such a big deficit? Maybe nice. like 20 seconds ago. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was the call that the bro's next been looking for. Yeah. Jeez. It's such a good concept. Yeah, exactly. It's just when you have the like. The glass cannon matchup like that it's so fun you just never really know it's like bows uh, or hydro actually was at such a big deficit that game yeah. contrary to the second game having been pretty um like pretty far ahead but bros that ended up um finishing it out there even though hydro like almost brought it back it's now just... it's funny that you mentioned that you know bowser as a glass cannon character but it's it's absolutely true because the, it doesn't matter that they're so heavy if you get them in that juggle situation several can pile on 30 percent with a single move yeah so easily and then Bowser tries to be aggressive back. Sintel will kill them at like 40 if they use a strong move. Yeah. So. so, I mean, now Hydro's aware of that, so maybe he's not going to go for these hard, like, whip punishes like he was before. I mean, he got away with that forward smash in game one. Uh, we saw a couple hard callouts with the other smashers prior, but he got punished so hard nice, in that last game. Nice safe stuff coming in here. Yeah, nice tech chasing from Brozak there. Really good pressure on the platform. Uh, I wonder what the bands were, because. Uh, I'm not surprised that we have some I platforms think here. I think probably wouldn't ban the Animal Crossing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's that what I would. Yeah. Done, then that you know, whatever you whatever you choose, there's going to be platforms there, and Hydra probably always going to pick the stage with the platform. <laughs> yeah. All right, but relatively even start here. Bowser's got definitely some time to work with with his weight here, but oh, just dropping shield a little bit too early. Nice, uh, nice fate there with the double jump. Another shadow player. So many shadow players. Oh, the parry forward smash is just such a slow move, though. That was a very important shield. You you cannot let Sephiroth get the shadow player. Yeah, both players just kind of messing around with timing at this point. It's like it might seem kind of pretty wary when that they're throwing out these smash attacks pretty randomly, uh, but at the same time, both seem pretty antsy to like get moving and uh, in general. So they're kind of just pressing buttons and sometimes end up running into that up smash. That if you can pick them up properly, you know you you can always oh my. catch the button. <laughs> the back hit of the up smash. Yeah, it's a scrappy game. Yeah, so there's absolutely. a point where huge call out. And like they're, they're, everyone, every move they're doing is sort of punishable on each other. Yeah. But that's the confidence they got. A little bit more safer gameplay we're seeing from Bros like here, but hard call out from Hydro. Gonna bring them back onto the stage. Nice oh, bear. yeah. Uh, like, I think actually like 100% accurate with the four airs off stage so far. Absolutely, yeah. I think so. Ooh, holding it down, going through that, and gonna get called out for it. Yeah, that up air just forces situations if you're that high. Um, you would air dodge, and then Sephiroth can like follow your drift in neutral air as well. Uh, now wing is online. Ooh, nice lift dropping from Hydro. Yeah, there. that was clean. A really good spacing there. All right, get some early percent yeah, combos. You, you gotta, you gotta take this, these percents. Sephiroth will put a combo on you. It, yeah. not, you just have a, a, an amazing pro game after that, you know, first 40%, but... It's the frame trapping though, yeah. right? Like, if you air, if you neutral air dodge, you just can fall up with so much. Can you you get can't hit by... be scared of his combos after oh. that, that little bit. So much trading there. Oh! Whoa. You can yeah. just get up attack. Absolutely. Now, Hydro kind of finds us on the back foot, grabbing like they need to get around this. And this is it. Oh, the back hit once again. Oh, way my too aggressive gosh. after that. Gosh. Yeah. That's the five. <laughs> yeah, you're not done yet. We got more games. That's the, that's the fun part of round robin, yeah. <laughs> Time to learn? <laughs> what? I mean, and, and that's exactly what happened. So, the, you know, the level one mix up there of Hydro double jumping immediately after that um, giant yellow flare explosion. Yeah. And then you know coming down with an aggressive option, yeah. If uh, Sephiroth dashed in and went for the forward smash, that would have uh, that would have caught him. But yeah. there, there's this is layers upon layers upon layers, so explosive, such good. Jump. Yeah, I definitely think it feels like Brozak's like starting to adapt to uh, at least when it comes to Hydro's landings, and that's what we've been kind of seeing, especially in the last game. Yeah, but... punishing more of the neutral, uh, uh, punishing more of the uppies out of shield, like just patiently waiting and getting a punish. Yeah, and I'm surprised to see us come back to FD on Hydro's counter pick here, but. Uh, it might just be a comfort pick for him. Uh, well, on the other hand, I'm just pretty nervous for him getting juggled like he did last game. 
uh, on that wide open uh, stage kind of that we saw on Northern Cave. But... Okay, nice. Wait, Hydro is not finding much opportunity no, to get a, a strong footing here. And they're going for the you know, angle down forward tilt there. I mean, the Sephiroth Aqua Flash is going to be through it. Oh, wow. Okay, Hydro like, really struggling to land. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how do they not hit each other, dude? <laughs> Alright, but Brozak like, definitely a lot more confident here when it comes to just kind of poking around Bowser. And here's the fully charged one again. Okay. Yeah. Either you, exactly. the, you, that's, that's what you gotta learn. You, you Even tougher for, for, for super heavies like this, right? Exactly. You don't expect something like that to just demolish every option. Nice, Scintilla. I don't think... Brozak hasn't really been punished for his counter use at all. He's yeah. had a couple times where Hydra snuck in. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. You, wow. you can tell Hydra is, is being very fearful. He's exactly. being air dodges in the juggle. Yeah, it seems like Hydra is just a high, such a high pressure situation too that he feels the need to just continue running in after Brozak after getting hit too. Mm -hmm. So. It's even tougher to come back from that instead of kind of resetting like neutral. To perform. Yeah, see, he goes right back in. Air Dodge just threw and gets a force yeah. smash for it, but... That, that's a start. Yeah, definitely a rare occasion from what we've been seeing the last uh, stock. Yeah, you know, Hydra needs a little bit of an adaptation. Needs to turn up a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Barely making it out of that back air. I think that's actually a really true combo against the Super Heavies for Sephiroth, which is a huge advantage. It's until a punish needs to be huge. Mm -hmm. And now Prozac gets another tilted back air. Okay, and I like the aggression there going yeah. for the four down the Aqua Flash. Bowser living to 145 too is gonna make things a lot more scary actually. Oh that is Oh no. Aqua Slash so powerful, but it doesn't hit them against the stages. Not no Technic stuff. Grab should okay. kill here. Okay, barely gonna sneak by both of those hits. Back. Yeah, really good defensive options there for Hydro. Down air. There. Yeah, just in Telephonus. Oh, not gonna get the forward air off stage now. Unfortunately, we were talking about how like it was 100% accurate, but now we're down two. Yeah, Telephonus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Hydro not afraid to go out there. Definitely, really good recovery. In fact, you know, triple jump, octave left, they can go high, and there's not so much lag on the octave one time. But Brozak finally getting that stock off. Hydro having making having made up so much ground. Yeah, it's and... a good Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Stocks, 0%. I like uh, this. Yeah, Hydra's <laughs> been turning it up here. And the second you start having faith in one particular player here, it's just. <laughs> they, we're back to even way. stocks, less stock, right? Yeah, Brozak <laughs> needs to adapt their Scintilla right now. Hydra has punished the last three of them. Oh. Yeah, getting two grabs in a row, too. That's going to be so much percent. Uh, and Flame Breath's actually not as viable ledge trapping wise against uh, Sephiroth. Yeah. Really. Uh, Aqua Slash probably could just drill through it. Oh, okay, neutral air dodge, kind of just stuck in the middle of the stage there. Okay, back to good spacing from Brozak, but... Oh, yeah, it, 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 oh wow! The, oh, that, oh the, the chipper back here. Yeah, nice yeah. If you're holding and on that back throw, it's yep. instant death. Like, for most characters, it's like 70, but works perfectly you, for... Normally, I guess like characters, you, you fear, like, a back throw. Like, oh, is he gonna kill me? I gotta throw it, like, hold in. Not against that. It's the perfect mix-up. Yeah. <laughs> Punishes. Mm -hmm. He punishes a lot on on matchup checks.